Hi. Hello. 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 How are you, Jennifer? Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Chef. How are you? Fine. How are you? I am tired again. Yeah, I know. I think we're tired every day. <laughs> yes. yes. Tired too. All right. Hi, Ali. Hi, teacher. You? I imagine in the sun you prefer the sleep, the sleep, and the sleep. Yeah, sometimes I wish I could be sleeping. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, only girls right now. Norma, Lizzie, Jennifer, Ali, and me. No boys. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Girl, girl. Only girl class only today. Girl. All right. <laughs> so Walter is not in class and Walter is always in class. Ah, said the mm, one. Yes, we are. But yeah. maybe more late. Yeah, maybe later. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Later. Cool. Later. That's okay. Very good. <laughs> So today is Thursday. Today is the last class of this week, and we have already finished. Sec I mean, two un two um two weeks of classes. We have two more weeks, and we will be finished. So that's very nice. It flies. Yes. Okay. Very good. How are you girls doing in the platform? Are you doing okay? Yes. Uh, I I am in the three point two. Oh, very nice. Good. Good for you. I bounced on okay. my platform. Okay, very good. And Hi, Anna. Sorry, the topic. Hi, teacher. Okay. How are you, Anita? Fine, teacher. Excellent. Another girl and no boys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. No Walter, no Carlos Alberto, no... Um, Elmer. Women, the woman. I know, I know. We're the best. All right. <laughs> we have a party to go. Just girls. Girls night yeah, I know. Out. It's girls, oh, girls yes. night out today. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, ladies, let's begin with the topic for today. We're going to be talking with the, I mean, about the last topic of section two. And it's infinitives or, or imperatives plus infinitives to make suggestions, okay? So before we get like really, really into the topic, we are going to review what is an imperative, what is an infinitive, and then we're going to combine them so we can make suggestions, okay? All right, guys? Girls, sorry? Okay, yes. teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, so we have okay. this. Uh, hold on. Don't look down. Okay, we have imperatives and infinitives to give suggestions, okay? So remember that a suggestion is when I tell you something that maybe you could do to improve something else, okay? So that's what we're going to study today. And when I'm just going to show you this right here. What is an imperative? Let's see. Who remember? Well, you know what? Wait. Who remembers what's an imperative? Tell me what imperative is. What is an imperative? Imperative. It's an order? Okay. What else? The beans. What else is an imperative? Or how do you know it's an imperative? Imperatives. Uh -huh. How do you explain what imperative is? Don't cross. Don't cross. No, no, I Hi, no, I mean. Yeah, okay. Another example? Uh, small. Okay. Okay, so you're giving me negative imperatives. Hay una agüita como por ahí, por ahí. Yes. All right. Eh, tenemos los negative imperatives, which they are okay, but hay una característica de los imperatives. What are they? Si vieron la plataforma, ahí se dice de la, de la característica principal de los imperatives. What are they? No, no sé qué. Subject. Excellent. They don't use subject. Okay, yo no le digo, you open the door. 
Porque los imperativos. Just open the door. Just open the door. El, el, Or um, close the door. That's right. El, the subject is como in, in, um, in it already. Ya, ya se, se sobreentiende que es you. Ok. I say yes, sí. open the door, listen to me. Yo no le digo mm -hmm. you listen to me. I just say listen to me. Ok. Yes. So that would mm -hmm. be an imperative. So remember that imperatives, they don't have uh, subjects. Uh, subject. Carlitos, the, el primer hombre de la clase. Oh my goodness. <laughs> es que solo había más niñas. <laughs> ah, pero está calladito, Carlos. Ven, se nos fue. Ah, no, ahí está. All right, very good. Ah, Noemí, la hemos extrañado toda la semana. Todo el mes no la he visto. Ay, chambrosa, solo ayer no fui. <laughs> No fui, no How do you say chambrosa in English, teacher? Uh, how do you say what? Chambrosa. chambrosa. Ah, gossiper. Ese sí sé. Gossiper. Es que Elmer siempre me pregunta cosas raras. Como, kin como kinication. Ajá. Ah, no. Yeah, very good. Mire, ayer tampoco entró Don Elmer, nos dejó. Ah, de verdad. Mm -hmm. Cole. Probably Nicky. sleeping. Como ya está bien. O maybe he's sick, yeah, maybe. maybe. Sí, yes. O oh, anda en fiesta. Sí. <laughs> All right. So let's continue talking about imperatives. So remember that imperatives are commands, okay, or orders that I give you. All right. Another characteristic of imperatives is that they do not use a subject. Okay. And if it's a negative imperative, you say you don't. Don't open the window, don't speak in class, don't answer the phone, don't smoke. And you just have to write don't. Okay, that's an imperative. Lo vamos, eh, decidí hacerlo así como para que entendamos más, like, mejor aún. In, como aquí es imperatives plus um, infinitives to make suggestions. So what we're going to do right now is vamos a estudiar o vamos a recordar que son imperatives Luego que son infinitives, luego los unimos para hacer las suggestions, ¿ok? okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the deal of, of the class, ¿ok? So we have here, this is for you to remember, and it says, oops, imperatives. A ver, um, Norma, can you read the, the first bubble, I, um, Normita? The imperative, the imperative is? Is form. The imperative is formed with the verb without a subject. Examples here we have open the door, take an aspirin, pay attention. Okay, we're not using um, the subject. Ana Dimas, can you read the second bubble, the other bubble, Ana? The negative? Okay. The negative imperative is formed. We do not don't and the bear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So the negative imperative is formed with do not or don't and the verb. For example, Noemi, can you read the examples? Is don't touch that. Don't touch that. Yes. It don't play with your brother. Okay. Don't play with your brother. Okay. Porque ha de estar enojado quizás. Don't play with your brother, <laughs> all right? So if you notice, not in positive affirmative imperatives or negative imperatives, you do not use the subject, okay? It's como implicito, okay? And also if it's negative, you have to say not. Cuando usted dice do not open the door, es más emphatic. It's very, very emphatico. O emphatica en lo que está diciendo. Usted le dice... Y Noemí le dice a la hija, do not open the door. Se está haciendo, su, aparte que le está dando una orden a la niña, le está haciendo súper enfática diciendo, do not. Es como aún más, más grave la situación, ¿ok? You cannot open the door. Do not open the door. O que but le diga, can, don't open the door. ¿eh? But I can use a, a contraction, but don't. Ya, yeah, sí. Lo que pasa es que, por eso le digo, cuando usted dice, do not, es aún más fuerte esa, esa um, orden que le está dando a la niña, por ejemplo. Okay. Noemí va a salir y le deja a la niña por un ratito y le dice, do not open the door. ¿Verdad? Aparte que le está diciendo, de por sí le está dando una orden, pero con, cuando le dice do not, es aún como que ni te atrevas. ¿All right? Okay. All right, Noemisita. 
Okay. Es una o sea, una orden, o sea, es, que es como algo que no puede mover, o sea, hay que sí. hacerlo. De hecho, los imperatives por lo general son órdenes o son sugerencias. Bueno, en este caso vamos a ver cómo se convierten en sugerencia, pero son órdenes. Pero al hacerlo con el do not, así separado, do not, la orden es aún más fuerte. ¿Verdad? Que no se le ocurra a la niña abrir la puerta en ningún momento, bajo ninguna circunstancia. Que el ¿Ya? contractado. Que el contratado, exacto. Mm -hmm. Ok. All right. Ok, yes. let's continue here. Eso es con el imperative. Questions about imperatives o estamos bien con el imperative? Yes. Yeah. 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 In order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. eh, yeah. They, they have. Um... Ah, Walter también ya entró y Glendita y Norma. Very good. Good ya estábamos preocupados, Walter, que no había entrado. ¿Qué le pasó? Hoy entró tarde. Uh, I was a lot of, I was a lot of, a lot of traffic. Ah, there was a lot of traffic today, uh, really. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, on the stadium. Ah, uh, yeah, because there was a partido, right? Yes, I uh, was so, so difficult to. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay. I think Walter, Walter saw the. the the play. The soccer match. The, the game. The game. Ah, oh, allá de andar a Elmer todavía. <laughs> <laughs> de las cachipurristas que... Oh, la, my la... goodness. Yes, probably <laughs> dancing with the cachipurras. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, very good, Walter. Thank you for being in class and for everybody else, too. Okay. So, any other questions about imperatives? Do we understand imperatives? Yes. Yeah? yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so then we have, um, then we have the infinitives. Los infinitives he estado viendo, pero vamos a seguirlo viendo acá. Infinitives, uh, let me see, Walter, can you read infinitive? Definition of two, like, infinitives. Walter, can you read it? Infinitives are? Okay, uh, infinitives are two plus a verb. Okay. Example, uh, to using, to, to sing. Perdón, excuse me, to sing, to go, to dance. Very good. Infinitives are easily recognized because of the preposition or to. Or particle, uh-huh. Two plus. Plus uh, the verb. The verb, ok. Pero ayer también, ¿se acuerdan a los niños que estuvieron en clase? Ayer, <coughs> Noemi, um, hablábamos de dos tipos de infinitives. <laughs> dos tipos de infinitives, all right? Hablábamos de, ¿cómo se llaman? ¿Se acuerdan? Niños y niñas que estuvieron en clase ayer. The full the infinitive. The full infinitive and... The bear. Bear infinitive. The bear infinitive. infinitive. Okay, so cuando hablamos del bear infinitive, you have two or not? You say to go or you just say go? Could you repeat only go? Uh, only go, teacher. Okay, yes. The question was um, when, you, when we use bear infinitive, do we use two or not? No. No, no, you don't use no, it, right? No, no use okay. teacher is equal in the gerunds. What is equal to the gerund? In the, in the full infinitive, it bar infinitive. No, no, I mean the... Gerunds is the other topic. Yeah, yeah, gerunds is the other form. Gerunds is the ing, no, I mean, Sita. An sí, pero, infinitive? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. An infinitive? Uh -huh. No, 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 dile, sí, sí. Infinitive is, for example, you say to eat, to drink, to go, to play, all right? Ese se llama full infinitive, porque lleva mm -hmm. la, la partícula to más el verbo. El very infinitive es el verbo sin el, sin el to. Okay. Okay? Que por lo general lo usamos cuando usamos verbos modales. Si se fijo, se dice can swim, no dice can to swim. Cierto. Okay. Entonces, ese swim es un infinitivo, pero es un bare infinitive, porque no lleva la partícula tú. Ok. Right. O sea, que, o sea que cuando tenemos ver, ver, este, ver, este modal verse, no usamos el tú. No, a menos no. que ya lo lleve como have to, need to, owe to. Ah, sí. Eso es porque o ya lo llevan. To. 
Okay. Uh, pero si dice can, should, may, might, usted dice I may go to class. No dice I may to go. Uh -huh. No dice I can to speak English. All right. Can't. Usted dice I can speak English. No, I can to speak English. Okay. Yeah? Okay, very good. Thanks. Okay. So now, guys, what we're going to do is what we're going to put together the imperatives plus the infinitives. Together, we're going to make suggestions, okay? When we add, una cosa es el imperative, otra cosa es infinitive. Pero cuando los unimos, okay, we can give suggestions, all right? All right. Okay, so we have, vamos bien hasta aquí? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so. Para hacer sugerencias, there are some expressions that are very, very necessary and that are very important. For example, be sure, make sure, forget, remember, and try. No le estoy diciendo que solo son estas las únicas. Hay más. Pero estas son las que más se usan. ¿Ok? Ahora, cuando yo le digo be sure, make sure, don't forget. Remember and try what is that? Infinitive or imperatives? Imperative. Imperative. imperatives. They are imperatives. Very good. Be sure. Si se fija, yo no le digo you be sure or he be sure. Solo digo be sure or be make sure. sure. Estamos usando directamente un verbo. El be, en este caso aquí, usamos el be. Uy, no, Dios mío. No, no, no. We use be, make. make. Forget. In this case, it's forget, forget, but it's negative. Remember, Remember and try. 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 Okay. Esos son imperatives. Ahora, ¿qué hago yo con esto? All right. I have. I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use imperative plus an infinitive to make a suggestion. Okay. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to say, be sure... Plus to, porque ahí empiezo mi infinitivo, mi, mi, mi infinitivo, plus the verb. Okay, so I say, um, Jennifer, be sure to complete the exercises. Al hacer esta unión, le estoy haciendo una sugerencia, Jennifer. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You understand, okay. guys? Girls, yes, everyone, yes. Waltercito and Carlos, yes, teacher. I yeah? understand, I understand, y otro Ramiro, Ramiro. No. teacher. Oh, one question, teacher. yes, tell me the question. Be sure and make sure meaning the same, not really. I mean, they're very similar, um, Jenny, but they're not yes. completely the same. I, I saw in in um I saw in different um sentences. Uh, yeah. And the meaning is the it's pretty much the same. same. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's pretty much the same. Okay. So then okay. you have uh make sure to I don't know to sleep eight hours a day, okay? Make sure to sleep. Entonces ahí le estoy haciendo una sugerencia. Asegúrese de dormir ocho horas diarias o más. All right? Then you say, don't forget. That's a negative imperative. Don't forget to finish your exercises. You cannot forget them. I remember to, I don't know, remember to, um, to buy milk, okay? okay? Or I say try, la última que está abajo is try. Try to practice. Try to practice, yes. Try to sleep early. Or oh, try okay. to learn. Yeah, try to learn the imperatives and the gerund verbs, okay? Lo que le siguen en gerundio es lo que le siguen infinitivo. ¿Ya se aprendieron ese cuadro? Teacher, it's, it's good remember to be in class 
the next yes, month. Yes, remember to be in class. No, Emisita, porque abrió los ojotes así. Ah, no, es una reaccióncita. Claro, por los cuadritos que vimos ayer. Cuando se usted nos dice, vio. se prendieron los cuadros como, what? Ah, yo sé, yo sé. <risa> De repente le vi así como muchos signos de pregunta por su cabecita. Sí, casi. Okay. Ah, le voy a decir, don't forget to join the class every day, Noemi. All right, yes. Ok, vamos bien hasta aquí, chicos, chicas. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, the yesterday class, yesterday, about the yesterday class. Yes. Yes. Is being the in the in the YouTube. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I, I you didn't, didn't see it. See, I didn't see no, it. No, but it is there in the morning. I put it like about before eight. Ya estaba subida. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I tried Tiene to que see. Tiene que ser el video que está. Ah, okay. Mm, All right. Ya lo subieron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Nos vamos a ir a los grupos y necesito que me haga una oración, a suggestion. Be sure to, oops, be sure to, make sure to, don't forget to, remember to, and try to. You understand? Yes. So you're giving suggestions now. You're, you're giving suggestions by using imperatives plus infinitives. Esto es igual que hablamos ayer con los compañeros y compañeras que estuvieron en clase. De repente ya lo usamos. Lo que pasa que ahora vamos a darnos cuenta o nos estamos dando cuenta que podemos dar sugerencias o, eh, ¿cómo se dice? O, se me fue la palabra, advice, consejos. All right. Usando imperatives and infinitives together. Ahora usted sabe que, usted ya sabía que be sure, por ejemplo, es un imperative. Pero al ponerlo junto con un infinitive, nos da una suggestion. All right, very good. Ok. Entonces no se preocupe por los nombres. Los nombres son fancy, pero ya, ya lo podemos hacer. Ok, so. Go to your breakout rooms and then you're going to make sentences. One sentence per uh, expression. So you're going to make five sentences. Ok. Ok. All right. Okay. There you go, guys. Very good. Start. Ale and Lizzie? Hi, Lizzie. Hi. Are you on here? Hola. How are you? Hola. Hola. Hi, Lizzy. Hi, Nami. How are you? Hi, Carlos. Hi, Norma. Hi, Are you working already? Yeah, the first yeah. one. For example, be sure to take the English class every day. Excellent. I love that sentence, Norma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Very sorry. Good. I, I couldn't connect connecting uh, yesterday because in the, in the house I had a lot of rain. Oh, really? It was 
was uh, down. Ah, okay, I understand. Where do you live, Norma? In Santa Ana. Yeah, you told me Santa Ana, you're right, yes. <gasps> okay. It didn't rain yesterday here. Oh, like in, in the case of the Santa Ana, had a lot of rain. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay. Pero no se mojó, Normita. No, gracias a Dios. Okay, very good. So, check the, uh, I mean, do the, keep on doing the sentences with the Carlos, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, and remember. And don't forget to send an, an email. Yes, to send the email. Mail. An email. Why an email an and not the email? Remember to study. Uh, remember to set up to study the next topic. Clock. Jennifer. Yes. Remember to set up your clock alarm. <laughs> your alarm clock. Set up alarm your clock. alarm clock. And the next is try to to sleep earlier. Yes, I like that sentence, Jenny. <laughs> earlier. Try to get up early. No, to sleep earlier. Ah, sleep early. Yeah. Yes. And maybe to get up early. Get up early. <laughs> to stay. To stay on time work. What else? Uh, is the, the final example, try to sleep earlier or try to get up earlier to stay on time work? <laughs> <laughs> it's an advice for me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very good, Danny. <laughs> yes. And you want that? Yes, for me too. <laughs> yes. And remember, don't forget, don't forget tomorrow is uh, to speak about the 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 the, the situations. The, the how do you say it? Let me see. Um, about the about the problem to to mark the the this master stay two o o nine eight o four yes Walter don't forget it's two o four Okay, uh, I, I see the, the, the square in the group, right? Yes. Girls, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, very good. All right, very good. We're going to go back to the main group then. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. What do we have for some of your sentences let's share them with us please share them with me be sure to what uh norma be, be, be sure to take a break from everything be sure to take a break from take everything. breakfast every day or have breakfast every day nice okay walter what about make sure to 
make sure to come on time to work. Excellent. And to class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Carlos Alberto, don't forget to. Uh, uh, I don't have the, the, the don't forget, I, I have the remember teacher. Okay, that's okay. Lisi, what about don't forget too? Okay, don't forget to drink your medicine. Yeah, okay. Or don't forget to take your medicine. Okay, to take your medicine. All right, very good. Very nice, let's see, ouch. Um, next one, let's see. Um, Glenda, what about remember two, Glenda? Glendita, your mic is off. Yes, thank you. Remember to go for the children. Remember to go for the children to walk or to work? To walk, walk. Okay. What about the other one? Thank you, uh, Glenda. Anna, try to. Anita? Try to exercise every day in the morning. Hey, nice. Very good. Acuérdese que son todas son sugerencias. <laughs> we don't do them, but we should. All right, very nice. Thank you. All right. Questions? No questions? Are we okay with this? It's okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, okay, let's continue then. Then we have negative suggestions. Pueden ser negative suggestions con un resultado positivo. All right, yeah. or son negative totalmente. Negative suggestions, negative results. Okay, so we have these ones. Imperative plus not plus infinitive. All right, quiere decir que el not va a ir en medio entre el imperative and infinitive. So you say, make sure not to arrive at the airport late, okay? Or remember not to take liquids to the security checkout point. Don't forget uh, to forget your passport. Mm. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esa? Don't forget. Uh -huh. To forget your passport. <laughs> Does that make sense Don't, to you? Don't forget not. Uh -huh. Don't forget. Not, not, don't, don't forget, forget. Not forget. Okay. In this case, when you use don't it's forget, you have to, to say don't forget not to forget your passport. Mm. Okay. ¿Cómo? Sería dos veces el no. Le, en la primera dice don't forget que es la expresión, ¿cierto? El, el imperativo. Yes. Don't forget not to forget. Or don't forget, yeah. You understand it? Yes. Es como la afirmación, pero uh -huh. más. Right. En la última diríamos try to be nervous, try not to be nervous, or try to not be nervous. ¿Cómo nos quedaría mejor? Mm. Try, not, try not, not to be nervous. Okay. Acuérdese que eso los tiene que guiar un poquito. Cuando hablamos de infinitivos, quiere decir que el verbo no está siendo conjugado para ninguna persona. ¿Verdad? Si yo le pusiera el don't, Al, al infinitivo lo, estu lo estuviera conjugando, ya sea con I, con you, con we o con they, pero no lo puedo conjugar porque el infinitivo. Entonces, para hacerlo negativo, solo le agrego el not. not. Try el not. not, al decir not, no lo, el, el not no lo estoy conjugando, el don't, aparte de que lo estoy conjugando con I, you, we, they, está en presente simple. ¿Cierto? Yes. Mientras que al decir not, no, no lo conjugo con nada. O nadie, o en ningún tiempo. ¿Ya? Yeah. Yeah. 
Ok, very good. Ok, hoy vamos a hacer lo siguiente. We're going to go back to these ones. Usando las mismas expresiones, diferentes verbos, obviamente, para in negative. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Negative. Ajá, uh -huh. now it's negative. negative. Ok. So now go back to your group, ok, and make different sentences, but now negative suggestions. Remember to add no where it's needed, ok? There you go. Click on your groups, please. Continue the sentences. 
Ah, <laughs> sorry, I only say you that. <laughs> Don't forget, not forget um, your, your homework. Okay. Or maybe I stay in class every day. Okay, sounds better. Don't forget. No. Okay, in class every day. Mm -hmm. Remember not to fail the exam. Okay. Sí. E R A G E S. D E S. Okay. De veras es. <laughs> Don't, for, uh -huh. don't forget. Don't Alcoholic forget. Alcoholic beverage. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't, don't forget to, to, to try. To try slowly again. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to cook. The dinner today. Don't forget to cook the dinner today. Okay. Try. Try not to go. No. Uh huh. Try to. Try not. Nice. No, I'm very good. Hello, teacher. Hi. How work. <laughs> Um, Try not to go. To go, uh, I don't know. Try to, to do a lot of exercise. <laughs> Very good. We finished the shirt. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go back to the group in a couple of minutes and then we're gonna share the sentences. Okay. Okay. I am think, try not to go. Ruining, ruining, que es como arruinar. Try not to, try not to ruin or try not to break. To bring. To break. To arruinar, ruin. 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 You can say ruin or break. Mm. Ah, pues sería como trata de no arruinar la cena. <laughs> <laughs> no, de try not to ruin the dinner. Supper or the, the dinner, dinner, yeah. The dinner. Okay. All right, let's go back then. Okay. Okay, teacher. Bye, Naomi. Bye, Lizzie. Okay, so are we finished? Everybody's finished? Yes, yes. teacher. All right, very good. Let's see. Um, Ale, Arias, can you tell us your sentences, please? Okay. Uh, be sure not to decline the invitation. Oh, very nice. Uh-huh. Uh, don't forget, not forget, paying in class every day. Okay. Uh, remember not to fail the exam. Very good sentence. Uh-huh. Try not to start late the dinner. Okay, very good, nice. Uh, Norma, let me hear your sentences. 
teacher not to forget the umbrella. Okay. Make sure not to clean the bedroom. Uh -huh. uh, try not to arrive late at work. To work. To work. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay very good. Uh -huh. Don't forget, no, not forget to stay in class every day. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Let's see. Uh, Lisi and Noemi were together, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, Lisi, tell me one of, some of your sentences. Be sure not to play soccer at night. Okay. Make sure not to, to sleep later. Okay. And uh, remember not to drink alcoholic beverages. Yeah, beverages, yes, very good. Uh, um, sure. Yes. The try. Try, uh huh. Uh -huh. Don't forget to cook the dinner today and try not to do a lot of exercise in the oh, morning. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Yes. Questions. Yes, what's your question, Jay? Yes. We we can use uh not plus two. Yeah. Both mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. Not Give me one example. At the same time. Because she say don't forget not to. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's see. Walter, can you give me some of your sentences? Se fue Walter. Walter? No. Yes, teacher. Ah, Walter, there you go. Aha, uh -huh, Walter. Give me some of your sentences, please. Okay, be sure not to forget to turn off the light. Oh, nice. Be sure not to fail for the exam. Uh -huh. don't, don't forget, uh, don't forget um, your appointment. Okay. Remember uh, not to forget the meeting. Okay. Try to not forget be on time for the class. To be on time for the class. Okay, very good. Okay. Glenda, what about you? Uh -huh, Glenda? Be sure not eat later. Okay. Make sure not to do homework. Don't forget not to cut. Not to? Cut. Okay. Abrigo. Okay. Remember not to bring pet. Okay. Try not to lie. Oh, I'm try not to lie. Yeah, it's okay. Very good. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Carlos, ¿con quién está trabajando, Carlitos? With? With? Norma Rivera. Ah, okay, did you tell me your sentences already or not? Yes, I think so. Okay. All right, the very first, good. The first one is, uh, be sure not to bring the cappuccino every day. Mm. Carlos, I cannot hear you very well. Se está como distorsionando su voz. I'm sorry, Carlitos. I don't understand what you're saying. Pero es como que, no porque no le entienda, sino que porque se, hay como interferencia y se le quiebra la voz. Teacher, if you like, I read that sentence. Sure, okay, yeah, because they're the same sentences, yes? Yes, yes. Okay. we're working together. Yes. Be sure not to take the English classes every day. Be sure not to drink the cappuccino every day. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to buy the pet food. Remember not to win. Can play soccer the next week. Okay. Try not just to adjustment before understand better the scene. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Okay. 
All right, guys, very good. So we are finished uh, section two. Okay, so Monday, we're going to start right away with section three. Y vamos a avanzar como rápido en la sección tres para lograr eh, lo demás, ¿verdad? Pero we're, we're doing okay, don't worry about it. Teníamos que ver, nos entretuvimos en el gerundio y en el infinitivo, pero era necesario hacerlo, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes estuvieran como más cómodos con ese tema. Y es donde entran los cuadros, no mi cita. Oye, los cuadros de los verbos que van con gerundio y cuadros de los verbos que van con infinitivo. ¿Ok? No, ¿eh? Yes. Se me fue, no, ¿eh? Ok, that's ok. All right. Yes, yes, ah, teacher, si está chula. Ah, ok, ok, very good. Ok, guys, so I'll let you go right now. Uh, have a very nice weekend. Remember, tomorrow we have no class. I'll see you Monday. But please work on your platform para que no se me, no se me vaya quedando. Ok? Ok. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night, guys. Have a nice weekend for everyone. Bye. -bye. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Have a nice weekend.